Well, today we remember one of the musicians behind the song Tennessee fans sing at the top of their lungs every weekend. We're talking about Rocky Top, of course. Sonny Osborne, the Osborne brothers of the Osborne brothers, passed away yesterday. He was 84 years old. WATE's Lexi Spivak spoke with bluegrass historians to learn about the impacts the Osborne brothers had on the music industry. Lexi. Hey, Bo. So Sonny Osborne first picked up a banjo when he was just 11. At the time, he probably didn't realize he would revolutionize an entire genre of music. The historians I spoke with today say that revolution started right here in Knoxville back in 1953. You hear the tune every week, but what do you really know about the man picking the banjo? Premiered their act here in Knoxville on WROL radio, and that was about 1953, 54 maybe. Music writer and historian Wayne Bledsoe says the Osborne brothers had a sound that stood out. They had very distinctive three-part harmonies and a lot of bluegrass acts were influenced by that. Fellow bluegrass historian and writer John Curtis Goat agrees. He also says the brothers were the first of the genre to go electric. They were, they were one of the first bands to use drums. Uh, and electric instruments. And even though they never meant for Rocky Top to be a hit. Rocky Top was actually a B-side, believe it or not. Rocky Top was never meant to be a uh, a number one hit. The Osborne brothers were proud and appreciate the fandom surrounding the song that would become an anthem. Their version is the one everybody knows. And I mean, he was really proud of it. I mean, it was one of those things that, uh, you know, how many people get something like that? So while the brothers were the first bluegrass group to appear on a college campus, we all know at least one campus where their song will be played in the future. Every time that that song was played ever, they just got the biggest kick out of it ever. So um, I hope the fans, I hope, hope all the Rocky Top fans still do. All right, now the song Rocky Top was first played by the Pride of the Southland Band in, on October 21st, 1972 at the halftime show against Alabama. So almost 49 years ago to the date. As for the other half of the Osborne brothers, Bobby Osborne is still performing if you wanted to see him. Bo, back over to you. All right, thank you so much, Lexi. As of right now, we don't know details of funeral arrangements. Of course, we're going to update our stories when those are announced.